Yeah. Okay. Look fabulous. Tube Nation! Long time no see, tubers. We got Pitbull here. We're doing good. I'm going to Vegas tomorrow to see Beyonce. I can't believe you're doing that. I know. Well, I'm so hungover. Are you? I'm so hungover. Did you drink more? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I guess. Less. Well, this bitch came home at like, no, it was like two in the morning when you got home. I had already gotten home from my night out. I was sitting on the couch eating some toast with my friend Maya. She comes in and then she's like, I'm not satisfied. I'm going to go out again. I met up with a boy. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to boy. <laughs> a boy. He's also like 40. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> I was gonna try to rebuttal. My out. screws all loose, baby. Come hop in the back of the bin and we do what we do. <laughs> I love that song. So yeah, I'm really hungover, but we're gonna keep going. Cheers. So we have some cards. We're just gonna play cards in front of you guys. <laughs> we can we're go just playing fish. Fish. <laughs> And you guys have to watch that. Uh, do you have a six? What is this? Is this like adult cards or is it like... Yeah. It's like a mixture of everything. There's okay. some dirty ones, there's some tame ones, there's okay. some like psychological ones. Ooh. Let's go, girls. Let's go! <laughs> but first, I'm a little hungry. What am I gonna do? Oh wait, that's right. I just remembered that I have so many Factor meals in my fridge. But what is Factor, you're probably asking yourself. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. And this busy fall season, you can count on Factor for fast, tasty meals that fit your lifestyle. Factor supports wholesome eating made simple. Their menus are updated weekly and include 27 plus meals and 33 plus add-on options. So you can choose your favorite meals or let Factor craft your order based on your taste preferences and meal history. And I love Factor so much because the meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes, which is perfect for my busy lifestyle. I feel like I never have time to cook and it's literally just so easy. I just put it in my microwave, wait two minutes, and the meals are so delicious. I have a wonderful time trying all the different ones that they sent me. And Factor sweats the tough stuff, so you don't have to. Their registered dietitians work hand in hand with their kitchen to ensure every meal is made from scratch with nutritious ingredients, and that's what I love. Factor offers keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, and vegan plus veggie options, which includes seafood, meat, and plant-based meals. And Factor meals can be heated in the oven or microwaved in minutes. I like doing the microwaved in minutes option because it's in minutes and it's easy and it's always so good. And my body feels so happy every single time I eat these meals because I know that my body is getting the love and care that it deserves. And it's just also really yummy, so. Also, Factor is now owned by HelloFresh and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands and now my listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount with me. So make sure you head over to factor75.com or click the link below and use my code SARABASCA50 to get 50% off of your first Factor box. That's factor75.com or click the link below and use my code SARABASCA50 to get 50% off of your first Factor box. Thank you so much Factor for sponsoring today's video and now let's get into it. What is your worst coping mechanism? My worst coping mechanism? Did I not say that right? No, I'm just oh. thinking about it. <laughs> Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. We're just starting off light. What's the meanest thing you've ever seen me do? I don't do mean things very often. You're not a meanie. No, I'm not a meanie. You're a sweetie pie softie. I don't You're, you don't like ever do anything mean intentionally. Yeah, yeah. And then if I do, I'm like, I am so sorry. I'm like on my knees. I can't think of one thing. I can't think of one thing really on your end either. The other one was, is there a limit to what you would do for the right amount of money? Mm. I mean, like I wouldn't kill somebody. I would never kill. Emotionally hurt somebody depends on like what I'm doing. <laughs> 
Yeah, if I have them to... go crazy. Unless it's Harry. He... What if they were like, oh my god, if you can gaslight Harry and make him fall in love with you, make him go insane, I'll give you a million dollars. Yeah, because that would mean they would have to introduce me to him and that'd be worth it. <laughs> That would right, be enough. Right. I'd be like, yeah. And then maybe you could be like, let's go to couples therapy. Mm. And then just reverse all the trauma. Right. And like, we'll just start to. acting normal. <laughs> yeah, but that would make him go even And crazy. then I'd be like, I promise I'm going to be better from here on out. And then I just start acting like myself. And then he'd be like, ah, slap. <laughs> <laughs> she stuck to her word. She's got a call. No, like, we had a rough patch there, <laughs> yeah. but love her. I'm not having panic attacks Exactly. Anymore. Who was the last person besides your partner or doctor who's seen your junk? Like my vagina? <laughs> I <think> my junk? <laughs> junk is crazy. We should both answer this. Well, you last night. <laughs> 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 right, 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 right. The last person who has like full on seen my vagina? Your junk, yes. My jine? <laughs> um, <laughs> probably Austin. Butler? Yeah, it was Austin Butler. We fucked. <laughs> Dude, we watched Elvis on Austin Butler's birthday. On accident. And we had no we idea. We had no idea. It was my first time watching it, and I completely understand why everyone went absolutely fucking feral after that movie. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it, because like to me, Austin Butler was just like another white boy. But I'm looking. You're looking. And, and I'm you're sniffing. I'm sniffing something <laughs> and i was like so many people probably watched that movie today i know and we watched it just like randomly and then it just happened to be his birthday is, you see how i fucked him right and how he was the last one who saw because we're just emotionally connected that way give us a passionate example of your dirty talk mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i like that i like that <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that was better. Yeah. yeah. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Ew, I can't believe we're 26. I'm 25. Well, speak hey. for yourself. You're old. <laughs> I'm literally turning 26 in like two months. You're really holding on to that. <laughs> really Every single time I try to bond with her about how old I feel, she's like, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it yet. Mm -mm. I don't get it. Cannot relate. I'll be sobbing on my 26th birthday for sure. Okay, what's the worst thing you've done in a relationship? That's crazy. <laughs> Where do we start? Probably literally not breaking up with him when I wanted to. Yeah. But I just like dragged it on mm -hmm. for so long. Does that like hurt them more? Yeah, because they're like, you've been wanting to break up for how long? And I'm like, I'm sorry. For like a year. I what was the last inanimate object that you put inside yourself or another person? <laughs> I don't just sit there and put things up me when I'm bored. Do you? Not up. <laughs> Not up. Around? Sex toys, bitch. Well, doy, but like that's, that's an like, inanimate object. But it says inside of you? Yeah. What if I said like a cucumber? Yesterday. I'd be like, when was the last time I ate one? Because we share a fridge. And I would <laughs> hope to God it wasn't that one. I put it back. <laughs> I'd be scared it would break inside of me. But just my felt shirt bad. looks crazy. Oh my god! Like, look how freaky I that looks. I wish those were aligned with like your nipples, dude. That's a sick shirt. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? It's fucking thigh. It's fucking Leo. Suit. Wait, this is a. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Leo season. Yeah. You know. Do you have nude images of anyone I know on your phone right now? <laughs> I feel like I definitely do, but like they're they're not them. they're not like sexual images. Oh, Ryan does send me like very yeah, and Ryan as well. They're definitely somewhere in my messages. Like they're but, not on my camera roll, but I definitely have pictures of penises, but not of anyone that you know though. I don't think. Where are we, and what are we doing in ten years? Have we honestly improved each other's lives? Aww. Yeah. We're still living here. <laughs> we're still roommates. Yes. We're living in a house now. Yeah, we're living in a house now. <laughs> With a pool. Yeah. And a tennis court. In 10 years. 36? 
we're gonna be living our best lives. Out of all the adults like that I've ever talked to about like, oh my God, I'm 25. They're like, wait until you're in your 30s. That's when you're, you actually start living life. Mm -hmm. That's when you like really know who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. I feel like you probably will start thinking about having kids. Probably. Maybe. I feel like you'll Maybe. find a guy that you really like. I feel like I'll be supporting you in the background. Yeah, you'd be like, Ooh. See, that's my dilemma is I don't know if I want kids. I think I'll be in like a very established relationship with someone mm -hmm. and definitely like living together at that point. But it freaks me out because it's like, I am not dating and I've only ever dated seriously one person. Same. I've had flings with other people, but I haven't like, you know, committed a lot of time to someone. So like, I, I feel like just happen. I feel like when we're 36 or whatever, I feel like we're gonna be so bored, so established, so sure of ourselves. So we're like, okay, so what's next? Yeah. Okay. We'll probably be like in fucking Mykonos or something. <laughs> yeah. Like, doing yeah, literally. <laughs> in Amsterdam, just like. In the red light like, district yeah. going crazy. Literally. Because also I feel like our 20s have been so crazy where it's like, by the time we're 36, we're gonna be so done. We're gonna be panting out of breath, just we're, exhausted. We're gonna be like already, like we've seen it all. But then also I can see us being like, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> that's like, true. I cannot tell. Well, I think we'd be more brunch girlies. We might start going to bed at a normal time. That's the goal. But I might have a nighttime routine. <laughs> like, I might start taking baths. We might start taking care of ourselves. On my planner is like shrooms at Joshua Tree. <laughs> like on ayahuasca on Thursday. <laughs> Fuck no, bitch. <laughs> Ketamine therapy on Monday. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Manifesting on Tuesday. Period. <laughs> Having sex on Wednesday. <laughs> 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 Orgy. <laughs> Well, I do think we'd probably be like, hopefully with our own partners. We live in the same house. <laughs> Four of us. It's a duplex. Dude, for real. That'd be ideal. I would love or that. Or we like shared a fence and we had two houses. Tear that fence down. <laughs> love that. <laughs> the opposite of build that wall. Like we are Tear so the wall down. <laughs> Move that bus. Dude, and our backyard would be fat. Ooh, yeah, build like a little jungle gym. Yeah. For us. Yeah. <laughs> and what is that jungle gym? Rock climbing wall. Okay. For I'd be reason. down, I'd be down a rock climbing wall, a pool. Right. Mm. <laughs> like a jungle gym. I'm like, a pool? <laughs> Maybe, Maybe a jacuzzi. <laughs> A rock climbing or wall. A I want an ice skating <laughs> rink. I want a zoo. I want alpacas. I need a place to park my helicopter. <laughs> we have chickens. I need a train station. Dude, if we could have chickens, chickens would chickens. go off. <laughs> but chickens I think we would definitely sure. still be very much in each other's lives. <laughs> what if I was like, chickens are mid? But no eggs, chickens dude, pop We off. love yeah. eggs. Oh my god, having a little chicken coop. <laughs> if our boyfriends didn't get along. It would not work. Someone's energy's off mm -hmm. here. One of them is not the one. We'd just be like, figure it out. Well, we would be like, okay, so circle time. Let's I would go up to you and be like, okay, so if they're not getting along, this means one of us is wrong about this is our person. We need to be honest to each other. Who's the wrong one? <laughs> yeah, yes. That's how our friendship ends. Like, I would never. Ouija board. No, bitch. <laughs> Bitch! Where's the other half, bitch? Get that shit so fucking far away from me. No thanks. In the middle of our farm. Oh my god. Be, that would go on. Yeah. Where though? The bees are. Do they have farms <laughs> there? Don't I don't think they do. I just want to be on an alpaca when I'm 36. We will. <laughs> no, in Peru. <laughs> Oh, yes. We will absolutely be fucking with alpacas in Peru. Which, by the way, we're going to Peru. Oh my we're god. We're going in like a month. Holy shit. I have always wanted to be with alpacas. Oh my god, be careful though. Those bitches spit. I've been spat on once. Spit on me. No, dude. It's spit really gross. Me, baby. It's like gooey and nasty. I like it. But to finish that up, I think we will improve each other's lives. <laughs> 
I do too. I yeah. think we always just motivate each other in general. That's true. I can't imagine me like if, not being in my life and us not like the fuck. Like I was like, oh, remember that bitch that I lived with for fucking four years? That's so weird. And also I feel like if one of us start getting off track, we'd be like, what's happening? Yeah. We need to look inward. Yeah. We've been through way too much. Yeah. You suddenly become wealthy beyond your dreams. Okay. What do you do with the rest of your life? With the rest of my life? Yes. First thing I would do, pay off my student loans. <laughs> well, I would buy us a house in LA, like dead ass. So I could own property in LA. On the beach. Sure, if I had that, well, if it was like that much money. You're wealthy beyond your wildest dreams, okay, yeah. bro. Then Where? Yes, we'll buy a house on the fucking beach for sure. With a llama? Sure, <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Llamas on the beach. That's a vibe. <laughs> That's a song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we should write a song. That's like Harley's in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The llamas on the sand. Yeah. I would buy us a house so I could have property and we could live somewhere nice and fun. I would buy my dad a place mm -hmm. and my mom a place. Obviously separate. They hate each other. Um, right. right, right. <laughs> and then, Keep them very far away. <laughs> very far away. Would you, like, plant a garden? Yeah, my house. <laughs> What the fuck? Tomatoes? Sure. I would get an assistant. I could, ooh, but she plants the garden? No, no, no. She will call someone to plant the garden. <laughs> yeah. But if I'm rich beyond my wildest <laughs> dreams, bitch, yeah. I'm Uber Eats. You're correct. I'm about to order Nobu. You would to a chef. Ass. Oh my God, if we had a chef. If we had a chef. If we had a chef. <laughs> if we had a chef. Dude. That would literally solve all of my issues. No, same. If I had a fucking chef, the Every house day have a gym. Oh, someone coming <laughs> into oh. <laughs> Manifesting yeah, literally. We have someone come into my room every single day to wake me up. We wake up with coffee. Hire an assistant. Coffee and an Addy. I'm up. <laughs> yeah, and some eggs. Eggs Benedict. Oh, oh my god. god. I don't like eggs Benedict. That's crazy. I don't like sauce. How do you not like Hollandaise sauce? It's, I don't know. It's fabulous. I just am a over easy bacon toast girly. You haven't had the right holiday sauce. Okay. I haven't tried I'm it like that offended. I haven't tried it that many times. But yeah, I think I'd just travel. I don't start know. Start a nonprofit. For sure. Like I, w I wanna start businesses. For I want to start businesses. For whales. Nonprofit for whales, dude. <laughs> Not people. TBT to that. <laughs> Cut to me being like, I just love the ocean. I love Shamu. I love killer whales. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. No, don't cry. But also, cry if you want. I don't want to cry. You can cry. No, cry if you want. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. No, it's not. The ocean, it's so important. Itself. If you could get a pet whale. Oh, I would. <laughs> Which, no, no, no. Only, whoa. <laughs> Don't fucking twist my words here. If I could get a whale that like couldn't live in the wild anymore, I'd keep it in my backyard. <laughs> and I'd give it a big ass fucking pool. Dude, I live on the beach, put it back in the <laughs> Or you have like a- No, like, you like buy, a net, a you netted buy a section. section. Is that fucked and, up? Like a netted section for my whale to just vibe in. No, like, that yeah. goes for like miles. Yeah, and, and then, you have an app on your phone. Where I can track see. him. Yeah. And I have I have my jet ski and I like go find him. And then I, I whistle and, and I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> and then he's like, yes. And then he like does a flip for me. Mommy. And I'm like, yes. And I'm a bitch. You're just sitting on your boat by yourself. Yeah. I'm like, Boy, come here! And then you go! I wish I could have a pet I wish I could have a pet whale that was like this big. And he like wagged his tail. <laughs> don't do that! They don't wag their tails like that. He does it for you. Oh, okay. Because you're his mommy. I am his mommy. I think that that's true. What's um, his name? I don't know. Depends what kind of whale. Cameron. Cameron is <laughs> Why would I name my whale Cameron? I don't know. If I got rich, then I'd have kids. What would you invent? I <laughs> Who said anything about inventing something? <laughs> we should start a business. Right, but like that doesn't mean inventing something. Okay, we just saw Oppenheimer. We're scientists. Okay. 
also not making a bomb that's for well, sure let's not do that yeah in third grade did i tell you this where is this conversation <laughs> I won first place in my whole class because we had to invent something. For your science fair? Yes, and create like a model of it. I won mm -hmm. out of hundreds of kids. You wanna know what it was called? What? Season shoes. Explain. This <laughs> is so, you know how my feet get really hot? <laughs> Yeah. Even in third grade, I was like, bruh, this my is my need. My feet are hot. So it's these sneakers. Okay. Shoes? Shoes. Okay. Different styles. Okay. And then there's two buttons. Hot okay. and cold. Okay. When you push cold, they light up blue. There's like built-in mini fans. Okay. Gives you a nice chill. Where's the airflow coming from? The vents. Are there vents on the bottom of the shoe? <laughs> on the sides. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Uh-huh. And then um, there's a little microwave. <laughs> Are we microwaving our feet or? Well, not actually. Foot well, cancer like... <laughs> on the rise. Fuck. <laughs> well, I won, so I got a huge prize. Okay. Well, all you would need is a little battery. Yes. Yeah, like put some batteries in there for the fans and then and that's exactly not a microwave though. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> not a microwave. microwave but... <laughs> what would you do if you got like a bajillion dollars? I would donate first. I was donating to my family. <laughs> we are struggling, bitch. <laughs> I already told you they're a nonprofit. This is Christelle right now. <laughs> it's like I bought my dad a house. That's a donation. Shit. I would love to go to a BTS show, front row, bitch. If that ever happens again. Oh, you're correct. Yeah. That's so sad. I've never seen them live. I know. Well, I'm gonna pay them to come back. Dude, and that's a thing, but we can't pull the bitches out of the military. I can. <laughs> I will be in contact with the Korean government. I have the connections. Right, 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 right. Because I'm rich as hell. Right. People listen to me. Right. <laughs> and then I'd get a really, really cool house. I want a zip line. In so your house? Outside of my house. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, outside. <laughs> So I have yeah. Two, I have two properties connected. Okay, with the other one being mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then I have a zip line. That's how we come over. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> with bottles of wine like under our armpits, yeah. like zip lining no, over. We have we have two zip lines. Okay. One is for items. We can put a little basket. basket. Okay. So I push that one first. What about the llamas? I. Oh fuck. We could make them special straps. <laughs> I'm like, yo, oh my god, if we had chickens, I'm like, my bitch ass chickens didn't lay any eggs. Send me over like three. <laughs> three chickens or eggs? Eggs. Oh, that's cute. Or chickens. <laughs> I'm like, for one yo, my chicken. bitch ass chickens died. <laughs> Send me a couple chickens. My bitch ass chicken just got a disease. <laughs> Can you send one over? Damn. Sure. <laughs> I got you. Right. And that chicken's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I would actually get zip lines going every direction if I want to go to the city. Where <laughs> you like get in contact with the city and you're like, I want to build a zip line from my house to downtown. Uh -huh. And you guys have to let me. <laughs> <laughs> I could be like, I can fund it. <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm crying, dude. I would set it up to a tree in Which, the city. Okay. Where would the house be? Would you still be in LA or would, would we be in the jungle? Else? Oh, in the junkies. <laughs> maybe a day yeah right. to get to the right. city. That would be kind of peaceful though. Right? Yeah. I know. A couple horses. Dude, Dude. us right into the city. And I was about to say, well, we can't postmate, but we'd have a chef. Oh, you're right. But I still want access to civilization. Us I going to it. the club. <laughs> the <laughs> heels on the zip line to the city. Exactly. Exactly. No Ubers. No, no, none. Because we are affiliated with the mayor who <laughs> let us build that zip line. We're chilling. Or we can ride a horse to the club. That's so dope. Right. And I would spend money for every club that I want to go to to have a little stable for my horse. Right. Just for me. <laughs> and if bitches see a horse in that stable, they're like, Sarah's here. <laughs> Cause I'm the only one that can do 
that. <laughs> and you're like, yeehaw, bitch. Yeehaw. I've arrived. I would pay to get a lead role in a movie <laughs> with Brian Cranston. And Harry. Brian. And Harry. Yeah, I would, yeah. If you could do both, why not? Harry can be our kid. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Okay. Some, he's my teenage son. Oh. <laughs> he works at Hot Topic. Okay. I would make Brian my dad, and then I'd make Harry my love interest, not my son. <laughs> my, I'm like, bitch, you are my son. My vision is I want a parent with Brian. You just pay for the whole production of this movie, <laughs> and then it never comes out. You write a script based on your fantasies with Harry and Brian Cranston, and you just like live out these yeah. fantasies. Uh huh. Mm. Yes. And you're like, no, you're getting paid like eight million dollars. Like, just make this movie for me. Yeah. Do you think they would? Probably not. Yes. It's me and Brian parenting, and we're like having a really hard time because Harry, our teenage son, <laughs> is starting to get. Harry looks like a thirty-year-old man. Like. Harry is getting in trouble at school because he's not supposed to be in school. <laughs> he, everyone thinks he's a creep because he's 30. <laughs> You're like, son, why are you going? Why are you pulling up to high school? He's wearing skinny jeans now. Those like leather belts with the spikes. And me and Brian are like, you make him do the swoop? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, and me and Brian are like, what do we do? Our son is so crazy. <laughs> he's listening to Wait, can I meet a love interest at his school? Yes. Who doesn't know that he's 30? And I'm like, <laughs> that's so problematic. <laughs> but I'm not though. I'm not 16 in high school. Brian, our son's acting up again, dude. He's being weird. Dude, he just discovered Skrillex. Yeah. He wants to be a screamo and DJ. blood on the dance floor. Yeah. Like, uh, you know what? My parents went through that exact same thing with me. Oh my God, and he wants to be a TikTok star. And every single time me and Brian like check on him, he's just in his room just like, Harry doing that. <laughs> And me and Brian are like, fuck. Wow. Like, where did we go wrong? Exactly. And then the whole movie is just about exploring that. So <laughs> that's what I would do. Yeah. And ready. like trying to fix him. Yep. And it ends with him like being a heroin addict. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a beautiful ending. It's not because there needs to be two more. <laughs> it's a trilogy. Two more? Two more movies. Why? Cause this needs to keep going. Just so I have an established relationship with Brian. Like, and I wanna know I want a number of how rich we are. <gasps> a billion. A billion? Two billion. The thing is, that's half of your money <laughs> to film those movies. No it ain't. No it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't need much. I just need a crew. I need a high school. <laughs> A vacant you need school. to hire Harry Styles and Brian Cranston. <laughs> what is that? Like 15 mil? Easy. Each? <laughs> That's fine. Three I times because you want to do a trilogy. <laughs> I have a billion bucks. Right. Who would direct it? Who would you hire to direct it? Christopher <laughs> <Nolan>. <laughs> I wanted to be a masterpiece. IMAX. <laughs> oh, 3D. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. It's just an IMAX for no reason. <laughs> it's really not like Why that. Why not? <laughs> if you can, then just do it. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I gave such a serious answer of what I would do with my money. <laughs> and you're like, fuck it. Trilogy. <laughs> and I'd write a book. <laughs> oh. I would hire someone to write a book. I'd get a ghostwriter. I'm not writing for shit. Your makeup looks great. Thanks. I really popped off on accident. Do you like the lashes? Yeah. They look great on you. Thank you. You can keep those. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. I'll take them. You love this song. Where is it? Write me a new dating app bio oh in God. three sentences or less. Hey, y'all. One sentence? What's good? <laughs> My screws all loose. <laughs> That's I'll it. Come up in the back of the we do what we do. That's it. Post. So, we'll ask another one. Post. <laughs> Period. That's all we can say. Okay.
okay this one's cute this one's cute this one's cute <gasps> mm. okay mm. of all the things that we do together what is the best thing that we do together oh everything oh oh I love you. pay rent <laughs> <laughs> yeah when we pay rent that goes off when we clean the house, okay, I get huge endorphins and serotonin. Right, and it really improves our attitude. Mm -hmm. I also love when we have our like weekly hangouts in the living room where we just catch each other up on what the hell happened. I was gonna say our living room hangouts because mm. it's not only like catching up on what we've done without each other throughout the week. I feel like a lot of people think that we're like attached by the hip, but we very much do our own things. And we have like separate friend groups, but too. we like still bring each other around into these friend groups yeah but we definitely do have like separate social lives yeah but my my favorite thing about our living room hangouts is updating each other on what we're currently really interested in yes that's my favorite thing where i'm like oh my god there's this song or this like artist that i found i really am excited to show you yes and then tell you why i like it even if it's so something out of the realm of something that you would necessarily like mm -hmm. like you will try to understand it and like vice versa yeah and i like oppenheimer that was like a great yes. like example of that where i don't know shit about history so that was fun and that was something that i was really interested in and yeah. i knew that christelle would appreciate it if she came with me right I I've seen it three times now. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate how we both can be open-minded and like care about the other person so much where we want to learn what yeah. we're interested in. Right. With no judgment either. BTS, like you didn't know shit about them and then you like all of a sudden were like, wait, I know all their names. Did, and, like, I love BTS. Yeah. I fucking love them. Black Swan is one of my favorite songs of all time. <laughs> Literally. I listen to that regularly. Yeah. Describe your first time having sex. Include every cringy detail. Okay, y'all. Yeah, have I told okay, you? I've told you this, right? Come on, two words. Probably. I feel like once I start saying it, you're gonna be like, oh yeah. Basically, there is this guy that was a year older than me. So yeah, we were in math class together for two years. Probably one of the cutest guys at our school. And I was like tripping that we had become friends during this class. Cause I was like, oh, I'm like friends with like the popular year older guy. Oh, that's so hot. And I was like a theater kid. I had the biggest crush on him ever. Of course. I guess it was his senior year, my junior year. So I was like 16. He had a girlfriend. So like, I can't like flirt with him anymore. Like that's mm. fucked up. But it was crazy because he would Snapchat me all the time. And we would talk all day, like after school. He would drive me home from school too. And he had like a really nice car. Mm. And he would offer. Yeah. Which I was feeling kind of weird about because he had a girlfriend. Sure. But I was like, no, but you know, I'm like his like friend and like, I don't have a ride home until 6 p.m. And he, it's chill. The end of the year happened. And so he graduated and I was like, oh. Like, I'm never gonna see him again. Oh. During that summer, I was living with my mom. My mom was a CNA, like nurse. So she would work like crazy hours. Like she'd be gone for like 24 hours easy. Damn. So I was home alone all the time. My mom would always have this like fucking stellar ass wine. It was so good. It tastes like stellar. candy. It was literally candy, stellar as fuck. The second day after school ended and I was like, okay, I'm gonna like take some of this wine. I have like a few cups of it kind of lit. By myself on Uvu with my internet friends. <laughs> Nerd. Like, uh, uh, no, dead ass. On Uvu with everyone. And I was like, guys, should I text this guy? And like, I heard that he broke up with his girlfriend. They were like, oh my God, yeah, tell him to like literally come over. Like you don't have parents coming over until literally 10 a.m. the next morning. Tell him to come over. They just wanted a show. No, literally. And so I texted him, I was like, you should come over. And he's like, oh, where are you at? And then I was like, oh, here's my address. Oh. He comes through when he texted me being like, I'm here. I was pretty turnt at this point because like my tolerance was nothing. After two cups. Like literally two glasses of wine. I'm like really drunk as fuck. He pulls up and I was like, oh my God, guys, he's here. I thought, I thought that I completely closed my laptop. I did not. I did not. I didn't. You never told you this. Have I not? Uh oh. -uh. Okay, so I did not completely close my laptop. It was like open like this much. I go get him, he comes in. Me and him are talking, sitting on my mom's couch. He was like, now that we're like graduated, I feel like this is the only time I can tell you. I think you're like really cute. And then I was like, 
Dude, I was freaking out because I had the biggest crush on him for years. He was that bitch. He literally was. And I was like, okay, okay, like totally, totally. And then I was like, do you want a glass of wine? And he was like, yeah, sure. So like, I, I'm already I got drunk. Some stellar shit. Yeah, some <laughs> stellar wine. <laughs> And so I pour us more whenever we're talking. We're making out on the couch. <laughs> and I'm 16. I'm literally like, I'm about to fuck right now. Like, what do you mean? You're a baby. Laptop open. No, laptop open. I just forgot about my laptop and it's on the table in front of us. And then we're making out. They're listening in on the whole conversation. I'm like under him. And then, <laughs> bitch. And then he's like, he was like, have you ever had sex before? And I was like, no, like I'm still a virgin. And your friends are like, no, literally they, and it was funny because I did, obviously didn't mute the computer. Like they were just sitting and listening. Shut like, they up were, and they yeah, like texting each other. Like no, literally in the chat. And then he was like, you don't have to if you don't want to. And I was like, I don't know. Like, you know, when you're like 16 and you're like desperate to lose your virginity because you just want it to be over. Well, you don't. But like, <laughs> Me being terrified. Yeah, you like I'm loving. Like, mm, not at all. Yeah, you loving Jesus and shit. Like, Jesus was out of my life. <laughs> Me giving a fuck about what Jesus thinks. No, yeah. I'm an empath. <laughs> I just care about what Jesus thinks. He's like, he's like, you never had sex before. I was like, no. <laughs> my pants were off. <laughs> on this couch and he was like do you want to like be in charge of it and i was like sure what does that mean no. so he puts me on top to the lady bitch to the lady okay so i'm on top and then i do it you're thinking back to all the fanfics that you've read no literally i was like all i know is fan fiction all i know is five sauce fan fiction yeah. <laughs> like that's it i start writing him i lose my virginity that way that's awesome. Which also, bitch, relax. You're gonna lose your virginity on top? That's like, that's awesome. I went to literally like the supreme level of shit immediately. Yup. Um, and then finished. And I was like, wait, pregnancy. Didn't oh, think I, about that. I literally forgot about that. He ended up leaving, right? He was really good friends with my friend Robert. So I call Robert and it's like two in the morning. And I'm like, Robert, like, redacted name just yeah. came over <laughs> and <laughs> took my virginity and he finished. Like, what do I do? I'm like freaking out. He's like, okay, okay, you're fine. I'll come to your house tomorrow. Okay. And then, well, not tomorrow. No, I'll come. Okay. <laughs> I'll come get you and I'll take you to Planned Parenthood. I'll come the next day, but you're good. You're good. You're fine. You're fine. Like, I can't believe Redacted Name didn't have a condom. That's what I'm saying. Like, why else are you coming over to my house? Yeah. yeah. And mind you, I still don't know that my computer is open. Sure. So they're listening to me on the phone with my friend being like, <laughs> I was tripping. I'm gonna be pregnant and then my mom's gonna kill me. Like, like all this shit, I was freaking out. I didn't sleep or eat for two days until Robert came and picked me up. They take me to Planned Parenthood, go and get Plan B and they give me birth control all for free, which Planned Parenthood, thank you. I would not have survived that instance without you guys. So everyone, donate <laughs> i haven't eaten or slept in two days i'm starving sure so let's go to this mexican restaurant we go guess who's working his girlfriend that i thought he broke up with <laughs> and she saw me sit down in that restaurant and she knew, oh, she knew. And Robert was like, oh, she knows. Cause she what? was really good friends with him too. Robert was like, they're still together. I didn't want to tell you when you called me about that. They're still together and she knows. And she was so mean to me. Fair enough. But he told me that they broke up. Oh, and they always do. Yeah. She was working at that Mexican Literally, restaurant. And then you walk in. Here's your Coca-Cola. She you was fucked my boyfriend two days ago. <laughs> yes, she was my waitress. Dude, I was tripping. I was not okay. Not only yeah, did I have Coca -Cola. seven people listen to me lose my virginity, freaking out because I'm scared that I was pregnant, to then, oh, I'm not pregnant, to, oh, hey, <sighs> his girlfriend is serving me my fucking salsa and guac. Are we for real? Are we serious? Did you stick 
get out that entire dinner? Yep. Because I had just... already ordered. I was like, why is this waitress being such a bitch to me? Mm -hmm. And then Robert was like, maybe because you fucked her boyfriend two days ago! I never saw them again. I, I called him a year later because me losing my virginity to oh. him and then knowing that he had a girlfriend fucked me up so bad. And so I called him on my, my high school trip. So literally exactly a year later after I had graduated, oh. exactly a year later, I call him and I'm like, you're a cunt. <laughs> and I'm crying, I'm sobbing at Lake Tahoe with all of my girls. Like, I'm like, you're a bitch. Like, you literally oh, graduated. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> College dorm, like what? What do you have to say? Love ya. <laughs> I don't know. Like I don't really care anymore. It's just so silly. I just didn't you know what need to do with myself. You need to wear condoms. Yeah. So I hope he's doing that now. You Let's have see. no idea the turmoil she had to go through <laughs> because of you. It's true. You were the first man I ever let in, and <laughs> thank you for showing me that I can't trust men. Because it's still, <laughs> it's still. <laughs> Still affecting me to this day. I opened the gates, the floodgates. And you threw me away. What can I say? That rhymed. But, well, <laughs> let's end on that note. Thanks guys for watching. Love that was ya. That awesome. That was fun. We haven't done a video in so long. So long. Okay, right. love you. Bye.